It's easy to give up. It's easy to throw the towel down. And that's not what makes you. But what makes you is fighting when the odds are against you. Ronnie Fields was one of those legendary, can't-miss high school basketball stars from the playgrounds of Chicago. But a car crash changed everything for him. His life story is the subject of a new documentary set for release this week. Ronnie joins us live in the newsroom now alongside the documentary producer, Thatcher Kamen. Gentlemen, thanks for coming in. Thanks, thanks for having us back. Okay, now, you've seen the final product. It's been a long time in coming. Do you like what you see in the documentary? Yes, yes. I was able to cover a lot. Um, and um, the guys, you know, Thatcher and Ryan did a pretty good job. If you look at that documentary and you look at what's happened in your life, what's the message you're trying to tell the viewer about what you've gone through, where you're at today? Well, just the obstacles, the obstacles in life um, that's going to come, you know, and and just being able to bounce back from, from you know, whatever problem that you may face. Um, and, you know, for people to see, you know, basically my life story um, being told and all the things that I endured and being able to bounce back, continue to have a very successful, successful basketball career and, um, you know, just, you know, being able to show these young kids now that, you know, it's possible. That's your, what, uh, what was your goal with the documentary? What, when you saw Ronnie's story, what did you want to tell people about him and, and what was going on here? What was your special message? Well, like Ronnie just said, that you can bounce back in life and come back from obstacles that maybe may, might seem insurmountable at the time. And also to kind of take the story of Ronnie's perspective when he was going through everything at such a young age, but then also to take it to modern day and that, you know, the story wasn't maybe Ronnie didn't live up to the expectations, but he was able to bounce back from his experiences, still play for 15 years, be at peace with everything that has happened, and now he's entering a different phase of his life in coaching and mentoring and just being able to get that out there and talk with people and answer questions every day. The same questions you're asking are asked every day. Right. So yeah. it's just that continued conversation, that continued dialogue. Ryan, in the 15 years of playing, um, never getting into the NBA, uh, to the big show, so to speak, but you you think you could have been there at one point, no question about it, even after, even after the car crash. Tell me about your experiences playing anyway. Well, I mean, it's like with, with basketball, it, it changes. I mean, for I mean, season, styles. I mean, a lot of things change, especially in the course of my career in terms of, you know, um, even with the league from, you know, power forwards to right. forwards that can do just about everything. Um, so a lot of the style of the game has changed. Um, in my era of, you know, watching the Jordans, the Barclays, the Oakleys, the power. I mean, so for me, just being able to continue playing, through so many different changes and just basketball in general. I mean, I was able to accomplish a lot, accomplish a lot and learn a lot. What's the name of the documentary? How do we see it? Good question, Mark. So it's going to be premiered this Thursday at 7 p.m. at Park Community Church. It's 1001 North Crosby, right off of Larrabee between Chicago and Division. You can go to bouncebacktickets.com, and tickets will also be available at the door. Now, we also have it available immediately for download for people who would like to watch it online at RonnieFieldsBounceBack.com. Uh, the evening will also be hosted by WWE wrestler and Hollywood actor David Otunga, and also feature some live performances, musical performances. So we really want to invite the city out. So many people have been asking about yeah. this, so we wanted to share it with the city, invite them all out Thursday night, 7 p.m. to Park Community Church. Gentlemen, Thank thanks so much. And Mark, we appreciate it. We had, you had us on last year when we were talking yeah. about it, so we, we definitely owe you, you some got gratitude. Yeah. Congratulations. I look <laughs> forward to seeing it. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, Thanks for having me.